Hi there, my name's Liv, and if you're watching this, it must be because you're thinking about doing a year abroad. At Newcastle, you can choose to do a year abroad as part of your degree, for example, if you study a modern foreign language, or outside of your degree, if you simply want to experience life in another country. Taking a year abroad is an amazing experience to improve your language skills, gain cultural awareness, and develop your confidence. You will meet a huge variety of different people, Here's a picture of me and my flatmates who came from all over, including the UK, France, Germany, Italy, Spain and Colombia. Not to mention you'll try some foods you've never even heard of and explore some beautiful places. In this video I will highlight some quick points to bear in mind when thinking about your year abroad, as well as including some of my own personal experiences. The first thing to mention is that if you study more than one language, as many Newcastle students do, you'll have the option to split your time abroad across two countries. For example, you could spend the first half of your year in France and the second half in Germany. This is a great way to develop both your languages and not to mention experiencing life in two different countries. However, if you prefer to spend the whole year in one country, or if you only study one language like me, then that's of course an option too. It's also worth mentioning that if you study German, for example, you're not just limited to going to Germany. You could also go to Austria or perhaps the German-speaking Switzerland. Similarly with Spanish and Portuguese, there are certain universities in South America that Newcastle has agreements with where you can go and study. This option felt a little bit too adventurous for me, but it's definitely an incredible opportunity for anyone who likes a challenge. The second decision to be made regarding your year abroad is whether to work or study. If you're already torn here, my personal recommendation would be to split this too. During the first half of the year, you could work as a languages assistant in a school and then go to study at university for the second half of the year. I personally wanted a break from studying, so I chose to work in a translation agency for the whole year, which was the right decision for me, but that won't necessarily be the case for everyone. If you're sure you want to work, but haven't got a clue how to go about it, a good place to start is to use a list of companies provided by Newcastle School of Modern Languages that lists all establishments that have previously employed Newcastle students. Alternatively, if you have a specific city in mind, you could ask members of staff or final year students if they have any recommendations about your preferred city. The university also runs a Microsoft Teams group where second year students and final year students can interact and ask for advice or recommendations. I'd also like to highlight that you are not alone on your year abroad. I'm sure I don't need to highlight the amazing experiences and adventures that you'll have while abroad, but should anything go wrong, the university is always available to support you throughout the year. They will provide you with travel insurance and require you to update them with regular updates so that they can check in and make sure everything is going as smoothly as possible. For me, I found this really reassuring as it was my first time living abroad and it just made me feel like I wasn't doing it on my own and that I knew people were looking out for me. The last thing I want to say is that taking a year abroad is truly a unique and unforgettable experience, but it's also important to remember that everybody is different. So be sure to make the right decisions for you, but most importantly, enjoy!